Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. <laughs> and we're here to play games. With massive scissor hostility. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, if you were unfamiliar with our co-op antics, Check the top right for the full playlist. Otherwise, uh, welcome back to, uh, or if your first time here, you know, welcome. We are a silly goose or three. In the Wait, we coat, are probably. We are collectively one silly goose. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So a couple of uh, little housekeeping things here. We did go ahead and forge the jaws of death weapon. Uh, between the the last video and this one, so if you're like, what are these? Uh, that's what those are. Uh, I went ahead and farmed that up, as well as uh, the um, uh, the trophy item for mints, so we can go talk with her. And we have leveled up uh, the House of Splendor to rank six. Right. Uh, so we have five golden wines farmed up the materials for that. Yep, so we'll be sparkly everywhere. We'll be like Armstrong in Salt and Sanctuary. Armstrong in Salt and Sanctuary. Very yes. good. <laughs> the sparkly golden wine technique has been passed down through the Armstrong family for generations. Exactly. Gotta All have right. the sparkles. So where are we headed? You you mentioned possibly doing Dome of Forgotten next, or what? Yeah, what so we are currently at Hager's Cavern. Let's at least go down here and talk to Mints real quick. Okay, okay. Um, since we've been mentioning that a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I do think we can probably double back to the Dome of the Forgotten, uh, and that will lead us some, to some pretty cool stuff. Um, at least in my mind, the Dome is a pretty big milestone place okay. uh, for getting through this game. Uh, it's roughly halfway, uh, depending on how you calculate it. <laughs> um and if you've gone, because you can go through the dome, assuming you beat the whole thing, um, you can go an entirely different way through this game. Mm. Um, but we've only beaten the dome part one. Um, so yeah, I would say we're roughly halfway through this game right now. Ooh. But, uh oh. No, oh, I still got hit by the stupid rock, man. Did I not? No. Oh, all right. I don't even know it. I, I had a little your lag spike magical there. <laughs> shenanigans over there. <laughs> I have like muscle hacks. memorying how to deal with the rock. That's hilarious. Oops. I'm just gonna say you're a cheater and move on. <laughs> Dude, All right, go. some people shrink in the face of danger. I thrive on it. There are two types of people in the world: harvesters and plants. I'm a harvester. Me too, Bubby. <laughs> Not good enough. Prove it. All right, here, I got a Red Lord's ear. There you go. I've harvested a bit, so I've got some nice things to sell. Perhaps we could help each other out. Perfect. Let's keep talking. I want chit-chat. Have you heard about treasure on this island? It's buried deep, deep down. Oh, <laughs> okay. The deep down, dark deep down? That's right. So yeah, uh, Mince has um, salt pouches, uh, but if you hit the right bumper, this is the real reason to visit Mince. Ooh. Um, Really good, like the first and second level of four of the five upgrade paths here. So if you're having trouble upgrading one of your weapons, um, for example, and I've already upgraded it, but uh, the iron pot here, um, you can get it to four. And there's a big difference. You can tell six, so like this goes up to 10.7, upgraded up to 30.5. Wow. So it is a lot better if you can throw some up upgrades on it. Seriously. Pretty cool. Yeah. Actually, let me make sure I've unlocked it. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, that unlocked it for me, too. Awesome. How come I have more salt options, though? Like, you don't have more than the... Oh, that's because you have more money. Oh, it's because I'm filthy it... rich. Okay, got it. Right. Yeah, the merchant works the same way. If you have a ridiculous amount of money, he'll sell you better stuff, mm. <laughs> basically. Um... Shoot, what was I going to check here? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Doll. Eh. Ow. Eh. Ow. Eh. Relic war. <laughs> Viewers, eh. he's picking on me. <laughs> eh. 
All right, I'm gonna grab one of these. Uh, I believe I'm gonna end up getting more, but I am going to need more charred upgrade items at some point, so. There's a reason I haven't used the reliquary to put the iron pot to five. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. and uh, I th the next thing where we go to, we're gonna have to reclaim, I think, so we can show off how we do that. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we have converted a number of sanctuaries over to House of Splendor. Um, there are two ways to do that, but we are doing the way that is much more common. Um, once you get to a certain part of the game, you can change the affiliation on a sanctuary another way, a much more violent way. Um, but that's not what we're doing. Uh, so I think we're probably going to stick with Splendor for this playthrough. Uh, but we will talk about, there are two more creeds um, that are interesting to get to. Uh, but yeah, once we get to those, we will discuss them as well. Because uh, if you have a certain kind of character, it may be a very good idea for you to do one of those creeds. Okay. Um, okay. To the dome! Shall we ramble on? Let's go. We shall ramble on. Dome of the Forgotten. Yep, and as you can see, the dome is still the three. So what we're going to do um, is use a crystal sphere, and this will convert it directly to House of Splendor. And we have all the same people in here. Um, same merchant, alchemist, all that. They're all still here. I'm actually going to talk to this mage real quick. Um, flame Barrage. Okay, I can't buy that right now. But yeah. Uh, if you do change, say, for example, to House of Splendor, um, you can convert it over. Now, I think we need to go back through the boss room here. So we can go down here. Who needs ankles? I like to keep my glass ankles a little less fractured, thank you. Oh, hang on. I need to... I need to rest at the... I still have the threes. There we go. There. Yeah, that's one thing you want to make sure to do is after you convert a sanctuary like that, go ahead and rest there. That way it updates your stuff. Yeah. I'm going to use a file of undersight. Oh, that's a good idea. Right, we're going to go up this way. It should be an effect for ah. both of us. Well, just in case it's not. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Ooh. Get him. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot behold easier the than power. last time. <laughs> yeah, behold the power of the jaws of death. It is so strong. I don't even have golden wine going. What am I doing? Behold the power of giant scissors. That's right. Oh yeah, we never actually got this item last time. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, we can do a drop down on that. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. Stone guide. Uh, give it a second. The yeah, jump up on this. Oh. Oh no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Uh oh. Wait, how'd you do that? Okay. Yep, yeah, just like there. that. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we found a cheat. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of an exploit there. That's very funny. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. I knew that was going to happen. Oh. I'm die. <laughs> you are. Ow. Yep, there we go. Man, come that on. sword and board. It's the only way I can get past these guys. Yeah. Um, so, there is an entry. We were discussing weapon options for this, and uh, the Varangian Spatha is the sword Austin is using here. Uh, it's a class one uh, sword, like regular straight sword. Um, it's pretty solid, though. It's, um, you know, it's sort of like if you use ah. the long sword in Dark Souls, right? Um, yeah, if you want to, yeah, you can go down here, you can ring one of those bells or however you want to do it. Oh, yeah. um, but anyway, yeah, it's a pretty solid uh, sword. There are a lot of straight swords, and they tend to have a lot of flavor to them. Uh, so, for example, the Tachi we talked about is a fast hitter uh, katana style. Um, 
And then there are a lot of magic ones, as like the class three and four, I think, or no, I think the magic ones are both four. Um, and then there is another one we can get once we can open up Crans Pass fully. Um, I believe, I believe that's where that one is. Uh, so yeah, lots of options. Um, but one I did want to mention is uh, there is a great sword that is a class four. Hold on, let me use a file here. There we go. Ooh. Ow. Oh, did that not work? Getting a little lag here. There we go. All right. Anyway, there is a class four greatsword that has the attribute fast hitter on it. Um, and so it actually works extremely... Uh-oh. I got you. On? I got you. We're good. All right. All right. Um, it works very well with a shield. That's where I was trying to go with that. Um, keep swinging. So that is an option for you uh, later on once we get to that. Uh, it is going to be a minute, but it is one of the better weapons in the game, in my opinion. E. No. Oh. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the uh, the bubble effect in like the Super Mario Brothers games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, hey, there's your salt. There we go. Give me back my salt. All right. Oh, I'm gonna try to not get launched off. No. Nice. That was that was that's, good. That's a lot easier when there's two of us. Yeah, indeed. Ah, God. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, well, I want to oh. keep <laughs> walking. Yeah, you're pretty much right to the boss at the top here. Oh, so. are we? Okay. Yeah, like, had I not missed that jump, we could just fight the freaking boss. So. All right, well. Uh, that's, so, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> uh, here I am, here yeah. to fail. All right, so. <laughs> Welcome to our suffering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. Yeah. Part of me uh, wonders if we're gonna get comments like, "Yeah, sure, it's the lag doing it, not Dan failing," <laughs> which right. is fair. <laughs> hey, two things can be true. All right. <laughs> this is true. It could. Why not? Why couldn't it be both? Porcato los dos. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Alright. <laughs> <That well. laughs> Alright. There I we made go. It. <laughs> uh, of course. Oh okay. You, yeah, you just hold on there. I'll uh I'll come back. You can menu up here. That's true. No, I can't. Too close. Oh, all right, all right, fair enough. It's fine. Yeah, that'll work. All righty. <laughs> we made it. Here to have Several some fun. Several attempts later. Yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, let me. Uh, as we're coming up to this, let me use here to then here. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. The, the third, third lamb. Lamb, exactly. What about the first two lambs? This is... No, they don't, they also, don't this is not a lamb. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Ow. Mm. Wow, that did so much damage. Yeah, it did way more damage than I wanted to take right now. We are talking about two different things. <laughs> Oh, well, I also took a lot of damage. Ah! Ow. Curse you! Got him. Nice one. Yeah, that... I, I laced my blade with holy paper, and apparently that did a lot of damage. Yeah, so the paper does a lot... Did we pick up the money for that? I think we did. Yeah, we did. The paper does a lot for base damage, 
compared to the spell I'm using. The spell is still good, but the paper is fantastic. Oh, hello, friend. It's more bloody. This air, it's so still. I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's because my dome is empty. <laughs> That's why it's the Dome of the Forgotten. There you go. It's so lonely here. I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone I've loved away. Tell me, have you heard of Hard Light? Uh, I don't know. Have we heard of Hard Light? I don't remember. I, I We might want to say no, because he'll explain what this is, basically. <laughs> well, then let me tell you. Hard Light has been described as not unlike crystallized moonbeams. It can only be seen and touched by those that possess a Hard Light brand. Oh, now we can use the the clouds, or assuming they give us the brand for that. But even those Correct. unable to touch hard light will see its traces. You'd like that brand, wouldn't you? Yes, of oh, course. Yes. yes, I thought. Well, it's simple as that. Except this brand. Ow. Ooh. Uh, ow, it hurts so much. <laughs> you come here to think too, don't you? I enjoy solitude, of course, but you're always welcome to join me. I like to think about how meaningful my actions are. <laughs> your eyes are so shifty, it's like you keep looking at that bottomless edge to your left. Making real change, that's what I bring to this world. Okay. If I talk to him, I don't think I'm like you. Ah! What? Well, I don't think I'm like you. Woo! Uh, okay, so hang on a second. That's not how that works. Okay. Right, so if you pull out a torch... Oh. Let me see if I can get close to it. That's how it works. It becomes a platform oh. if you've got a torch. So, no big deal, no harm, no foul on that one, but that is how that that brand works. Okay, I didn't realize you had to have a torch out for it. Oh. Yes, indeed. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I rolled off. All right, well. Uh-oh. I cannot believe I survived that. Yeah, I can't either, actually. That was crazy. Ooh, hey, item. Yeah, Hornet right. Steel Ashes. All right, we made it back down here. There is some hard light we can go to uh, that was on the way up to the third land, but we'll just get some levels first. Yeah. Ooh, good levels. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, okay. nom, nom. Mm, a merchant here. That, grab that, yeah. grab that. Ultis! Alright, that was gonna work on shields, I think, yeah. That's gonna require one. Strength. Yeah, yeah if you'll notice, we got a crazy amount of money. Um, not only for just kind of going through, but like for that boss as well. Yeah. Just. He dropped an insane amount of money. Uh, but that's the golden wine. It's I'm a fan. Okay. Yeah, it's it's why it, like it's not only for the incredibly good buff, but it's for um, creating a really good progression. Because mm. you can buy all the stuff that you need if you're in splendor for the most part. Not everything. But almost. <laughs> okay, so let me look at the tree here. I got five. That's pretty cool. Buy items! Okay, so we made it up to class three magic user. I'm gonna leave it alone for a minute. There's nothing that I know of that I want there. There we go. And... Of mm, I am going to need. I think. Right. Okay. Yeah. Re Reapers are in the pole axes there. So I'm actually going to go. Oh, hey. Let me just grab the top level sword fighter. And then we're going to go up here. I'm just going to grab the top level pikeman as well. And, uh,. You know, with regards to Sword Fighter, I am well above the class needed for Jaws of Death, which I'm probably going to stick with as one of my main weapons. It's a class two, 
but you get good stats for going up that way. So it's well worth doing, in my opinion. Yeah. I was about to say, I was about to ask if Sword Fighter um, applies to both great swords and uh, single handed weapons. It does. Neat. Pretty neat. Yeah. Um, the higher class ones, for example, the class five great sword. You got that? Okay. Uh, the class five great sword has to be two handed. Uh, uh, it can only be two handed because class gotcha. five sword fighter allows you to only two hand a great sword. Gotcha. Um, you can technically one hand it, but you'll like dink off and stuff, you know. Yeah, there we go. That's fun. Yeah, I like uh, I like this little mechanic. Give me a second. There you go. <laughs> I love when my input gets eaten. It's great. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> Alright. Try that again. Hey, Craig can hone. That armor is decent. It's a little like fighting Black Knights in Dark mm. Souls. Okay. Yeah, it's decent armor. Hi, Tom? Charged ring! That does something. I should probably reevaluate my ring. Increases set. magic. Yeah, okay, that's just, like, I think it's plus three magic, pretty sure. We'll go back down. Alright. So, the third lamb has been dealt with. Um, so, there's two options for us at this point. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back and finish up Hager's Cavern. Okay. But, um, just to show you kind of the option here, yeah. let's go to the right. And I'm going to have to put this out because there's a group of group of dudes over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ended up like okay. 20 feet away, but that's fine. But yeah, this right here, this is hard light. So you can take this over to this section over here. And this Ooh. leads to some other stuff. This is a cool looking area. Yeah, yeah, this is really cool. Um, so, yeah, this is something we can do. Uh, this is, just remember that the dome is here, and there's an exit that goes this way. Um, <laughs> ah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, indeed. Uh, hang on, actually, this is going to make it easier. Assuming I can do this. Oh, heck yep. yeah. That torch out. Yeah, so I can take care of this. Yep. Okay. So let's go this way. Oh. Let's not forget there. Oh, there's invisible here. people too. Yep. I think we oh, got him mostly. Oh, freaking. Oh. Uh oh. All right. He's got my salt. Yeah, I'll get him. He's got my salt, Dan. My blood swalt in tears. Oh boy. That is not what I intended to do there. There we go. There we go. Time to get crazily aggressive. Yep. Alright. So I'm gonna go over to the cause we got that recovered. Yeah. Just use the bell. Might be easier. Oh, you're right here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It still might be easier because of my <laughs> platform difficulties, but... Shh, we don't talk about those. <laughs> we just pretend don't like worry. they don't exist. It's fine. All right. So now, let's go down here. Um, there is a cool place that we can go to. We can go this way. This is uh, one of my favorite places in this game, if not my favorite location. All right, so we are going to need hard light for this. Okay. Have we been out this way yet? Yeah, this is how we got to the dome. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Scares me. Oh. <laughs> See, like, unlike Dan, I just have jumping problems. 
Wow. All right. Wonder why it's you're having so much trouble there. Um, I I could be not jumping soon enough. Running jump. Ooh. I mean, I don't know how to go any faster than what I'm already going. Hmm. All right. Heavier equip load. Must be. Later. Mm -mm. All right. Yep. It's got to be equip load. <laughs> we actually okay. I don't think we can go that way yet. Um. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do our original plan then, Hager's Cavern. But yeah. Um, just so there is awareness, there is a place we can get to out here that is really cool. Um, so that will be our plan once we have the ability. We had, I, I forgot, we don't have a specific ability that allows us to uh, go that direction. So Would we got to obtain that first. We get like an ability to peach float or something? Uh, not exactly, <laughs> but something like that, yeah. That's my favorite brand. I actually don't remember. We could actually go over to the left of the dome to obtain that brand. Um, but I'm inclined to just kind of do the natural progression because we're going to get there regardless of what we do. Okay. Uh, we go through um, and we'll be able to finish up Splendor. So, yeah, I think this is going to be better. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Chew it. All right, Bro. so we've mostly done the top of this area, I believe. Wish you could make that jump, too. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, I know. Missed. Nope, nope. Get out of here. Ow. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm seeing what's going on now. Weird, weird, weird stuff. Okay. So. We go along the bottom here. There's these guys. Ow. Who are just the best. Ow. Around. <laughs> Nothing's gonna ever keep them down. Did you cast something that's causing fire? Yep, that's Flame Guardian. Okay. I was about yep. ready to fight an invisible creature again. More fire! Ah! I like Flame Orbiters, it's cool. That is cool looking. Oh yeah, All there's right. the ship here. Yeah, we can go up on this little ship. Um, when we were doing a little farming in this area, you were asking if this was our ship from the beginning. Yes. Um, I don't think so. I think it might be just another shipwreck or something, uh, but I feel like that's a pretty good question. Oh. There you go. It'll buff out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Careful. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my goodness. Eh. There we go. Restore that. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Bum, bum. I think we need hard light here. Ooh, shiny. Mm-hmm. This area is really interesting. It's an angler. Yeah, it is. Oh wow, he got annihilated. Oh, there went the item. Yeah. Right. Hope we didn't need that. Nah, it's just a random drop from him. Man, either these swords are really that strong, or we've gotten a lot stronger. They're Ow. mind blowing. Like, ouch! They're crazy strong. <sighs> okay, I think there's eight oh. Hello, friendo. Hello. I think that incantation is. Oh, that was unfortunate. Didn't heal fast enough.
might be worth just running back to the. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> that was that was a choice. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah. What I wanted to do was do the two-handed attacks because it does so much more. Right. Uh, well, yeah, you got my souls, so thanks for that. I guess. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And I, there's not a lot else left because this isn't technically the correct way. I think. Um, let me go up here real quick. I think we need a key to go this way. So I'm gonna check it out real quick, and then we'll go back. I'll go back to the shrine and bring you back. Okie dokies. Oh, actually, I remember what this is. All right. This item. That is Stardust Spire. Um, that has. That's an interesting spear, but this comes out right Whoa. here. Where is this? Which is ah? Can't go that way. Yeah. Laser door of doom. Is this the? Okay, I think I know what this is. Proof that I've just been holding you back all this time. Yeah, this is the Fort Beyond the Mire. Um, so, yeah, I believe you can technically just skip Hager's Cavern, but what we are going to do is fight the boss, I think. Sounds good. It is very beneficial to do. Um, the Fort Beyond the Mire is a good place to go uh, for game progression, but it is going to be well worth it because there is an entire area that you'll skip if we go that way. So we need to go do that. Okay. Um, yep. Oh. There we go. All right, Let's put that up. Just deal with these jerks over here. Oh. oh. Get out of my oh, face! I'm getting tossed. There we go. All right. <laughs> uh. I know you did all the work on that one. I'm not gonna pretend like it didn't. No, no, mostly I'm getting tossed across the screen and I'm like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so. Okay, yeah, actually. Where are you taking me, Dan? Can you go this way? Yeah. Get that guy's head off. No, let's. Let's go up here. There is hard to a little disoriented. Squire! Where are you taking here. me? Smash Don't forget that I'm in armor. I, I can't jump as high as you can. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I still got my like chef uniform on here. Nice. Enduring Skull is a relatively rare um, evil upgrade path. Oh. I think it's the third of four levels. Um, so if you want to fully upgrade a weapon like that, you need um, three Enduring Skulls. Gotcha. So it's kind of cool to get those. I need help. Woo! Come on. It's so aggravating. <laughs> yeah, I could not do anything about that. Obliterated! Yeah, those those things are pretty annoying. Uh, ah, shoot, we're at the... <laughs> Should have gone all the way back to the other sanctuary, I guess. Well, we can fix that. Hold on a second. The horn. Show him the horn, Arthur. Yeah, so we're going to use the calling horn. And go back to Hager's Cabin. Nice. Alright, we only got a few more minutes Lutters. left. Let's see what we get done. Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to buy more of these calling horns. That 
way. We've got a bunch of them. All right. About that way. Yeah, down here. Down this way. Hans and Franz <laughs> here to pump you up. We're here to pump you up. Okay. Nice. Brunched. Uh oh. Wow. I am grateful because that guy went the that club they're using, if they hit you with it, you just go freaking flying. Yeah, that was close. That one. Ow. I don't appreciate that. Thank you. Give my salt back. Okay. Pick this up. Yeah, I think. Can we open this? Okay. That's openable. That isn't open yet. We have to open it. Me. Eh. Uh, or to go that way. That's where the boss is. So. Alright. Yeah, we can go over here. Oh! Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's so cheesy, but you know what? It works. Yeah, I mean if it works. I think Golden Stone adds lightning damage to your weapon. Okay. Pretty sure. Cool. My health is so low. Ooh. Alright. Hold up. Heal. Be healed! Be healed! All right, so this is the jump that you couldn't make before. Oh. This is the other side of that. Okay. So, we... I can feel All the right. judgment coming from the viewers. Listen. <laughs> listen. Hey, listen. Yeah, we are um, using weapons to just wreck everything right now, though, so that's pretty cool. Charred doll. Yeah, you do not that that attack that um, you just did. You do not want to get caught in that. Um, yeah, angsty bones. So angsty. Is this okay? That's what that is. Like I know Ooh. there's something over there. Yeah, that's the Palatine set. set. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think we can open this yet. Whoa. Rude? How rude, sir. Lock it. The oh. door is locked. He fell down. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they just go down here. Is there anything here? No. Just to. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing there. Ah, 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 okay. Now we made it back here, so now we need to go down. Go this way. Ooh. There's an item down there. Yeah, there is. Uh, look to the left. See if it actually. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, look to the left. Is there anything over there? Mm. There's me! Ah <laughs> but there's still okay, an item down so here, too. Yeah, yeah, there is. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, I think there's something down. There. Yeah, we will definitely get that item. Okay, uh, yeah, roll that. Oh, hey. There's the upside down thing. Okay, hang on a second. I hear this chains. Is a little weird. Yeah, so one of us, probably you, should jump over that and then run across to the platform on the other side there. So, go ahead and do it. There you go. Ring of Brilliance. Welcome back. Thank All you. Right, let's go get that item now. Red. Endless fangs. <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Smack, 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 smack. Aww. Love it. You'll love to see it. Okay. Soldier's poem. Uh, yeah, pretty sure down there is just... We've been there. So, let's go back down this way. 
Can we get back up? Nope. Curses! Alright, we're gonna have to go around. But yeah, what we need to do is go upside down. Uh, and then, well, that's, we have to go back around, but we need to go upside down. And then, uh, we'll go up and we'll get the switch. And that will unlock the boss. Okay. And we can try the boss if you want. If we are at time, uh, we can do the boss next time. We'll at least get it unlocked here. Yeah, we're a little over at this point, but might as well see where we can get. Yeah. All right. Weep. Uh, all right. All right. Upward. That made me think of Bob's Burgers a little bit. That was the intention. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bob's Burgers. I do too. Okay, so... Oh, whoops. Actually, a new menu here. I made a decision that I shouldn't have made. Hang on a second. If I go this way... And I keep going this way. A new menu. Does that put you upside down? Sure does. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. All right, so yeah, this We're is a just little bit of a weird. Making use of a feature, or not yeah. exploiting a, a bug in the game. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Oh. Okay. Yep. And this was the switch we had to get to, so that is going to make it to where uh, up here. Let me take a look. The door is open. Yeah. Over here, the like gate we couldn't get to before. Since so, we're here, oh, I don't know yeah, though. Maybe. There's lots of salt in our pocket. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Give it a shot. Oh boy. Yeah. Fly some. All right. Woo. Perfect. Disemboweled husk. That's just yes. delightful. So this guy does have a gun. Oh, he, he's, he's, we got him. We got yeah. this. He doesn't have a lot of health, but he does a lot of damage if you let him. Yeah. Two bosses in one episode. You guys are lucky. Isn't that great? Okay. The cave. So, yeah, we got it. So I'm going to make an executive decision. We're going to go back to the sanctuary. Sounds good. Because we have a lot of salt on us. <laughs> yeah. Then levels. Yep. Now I'll figure out my tree stuff later. Yep. Yep, yep. Actually, I might know which one I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll just do this real quick. Yeah, well, but... while you're doing that, I'll close this out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you've been enjoying it. I know we've been giggling throughout the episode. Uh, if you do like what you've been seeing, please like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend all of that because it really helps us we want to continue to grow our channel so we can continue to make content for you you know ideally one day this would be a full-time position for us no pressure on the viewers of course just posting out the dreams um on the other hand all the pressure <laughs> right. like and subscribe let's <laughs> leave a comment right right not have to you sound, done it yet anyway not ahead. to sound too desperate <laughs> but please 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 <laughs> Yeah, um, we, we do really like interaction with you, genuinely. So, right. yeah, absolutely. Uh, let us know what you think of this playthrough. And uh, if you're having fun, definitely feel free to say so. Right. If and, you want to hear it. Yeah, and it can be about this game or another game we're playing or nothing at all. Like, really, it doesn't have to be related to anything we've been doing, going over. Just want to engage because we like having that conversation with you. Um, and absolutely. check out our other playthroughs as well if you need something that's completed. We've got several playlists that have already been... Uh, finished through our various series. We've also got our ongoing stuff right now, which, you know, buys a P on Fridays. Obviously, our Salt and Sanctuary games on sun, uh, Saturday, buys a P's Friday. We have mm -hmm. Persona 3 running on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Or, I mean, uh, Mondays and Thursdays, excuse me. And then we also have Mika and Lich's Mountain for our Tea Time Tuesdays. So, Lenny to kind of engage with and have fun with. Uh, Mika's really cute, super chill, so if you need something that you can like decompress from a busy day, check out our Tea Time series overall. They're real nice and low maintenance, so to speak. Um, so, good for getting something 
cozy, cozy up and get something warm in your mouth. Uh, yeah, but thank you so much, like I said, either way, for just being here with us today. We hope you have an awesome, awesome day. And we will catch you all in the next video. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Eh, 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 eh.